understanding, bow to pressure, an English phrase explained. Hello everyone, welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're diving into a common English phrase, bow to pressure. Understanding this phrase can help you grasp the nuances of the English language, especially in situations involving stress or influence. Let's explore what it means and how to use it in everyday conversations. The phrase, bow to pressure, refers to yielding or submitting to external pressure. This could be social, professional, or emotional pressure. When someone bows to pressure, they are essentially giving in or succumbing to demands or influences that they might otherwise resist. It's important to understand that this phrase often carries a slightly negative connotation, suggesting a lack of resistance or surrender to force. Interestingly, the word, bow, in this context comes from the idea of bending or lowering oneself under force or weight. This visual helps understand the metaphorical use of the phrase. It's used in various contexts, from personal decisions influenced by peer pressure, to political or business scenarios where an individual or group may change their stance due to external demands or stress. To get a better grasp, let's see some examples. 1. The government bowed to pressure from the public and reversed its decision. 2. Despite the intense criticism, she refused to bow to pressure to change her views. These examples show how the phrase can be used to describe different responses to pressure, either yielding to it or resisting it. There are several synonyms and variations of this phrase that convey a similar meaning. For instance, yield to pressure, succumb to pressure, give in to pressure, Understanding these can help you express the same idea in different ways. That's all for bow to pressure. Remember, it's a phrase that reflects the act of yielding under external influence, often used in contexts where there's a moral or decision-making dilemma. Hope this helps you in understanding and using the phrase effectively in English conversations. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.